Homeward Bound, January 2 Food for the Soul It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Luke 4, verse 4 Education is but a preparation of the physical, intellectual, and spiritual powers for the best performance of all the duties of life. The powers of endurance and the strength and activity of the brain are lessened or increased by the way in which they are employed. The mind should be so disciplined that all its powers will be symmetrically developed. The nature of one's religious experience is revealed by the character of the books one chooses to read in one's leisure moments. In order to have a healthy tone of mind and sound religious principles, the youth must live in communion with God through His Word. Pointing out the way of salvation through Christ, the Bible is our guide to a higher, better life. It contains the most interesting and the most instructive history and biography that were ever written. Those whose imagination has not become perverted by the reading of fiction will find the Bible the most interesting of books. The Bible is the book of books. If you love the Word of God, searching it as you have opportunity that you may come into possession of its rich treasures and be thoroughly furnished unto all good works, then you may be assured that Jesus is drawing you to himself. But to read the Scriptures in a casual way, without seeking to comprehend Christ's lesson that you may comply with his requirements, is not enough. There are treasures in the Word of God that can be discovered only by sinking the shaft deep into the mine of truth. The carnal mind rejects the truth, but the soul that is converted undergoes a marvelous change. The book that before was unattractive because it revealed truths which testified against the sinner now becomes the food of the soul, the joy and consolation of the life. The Son of Righteousness illuminates the sacred pages and the Holy Spirit speaks through them to the soul. Let all who have cultivated a love for light reading now turn their attention to the sure word of prophecy. Take your Bibles and begin to study with fresh interest the sacred records of the Old and New Testaments. The oftener and more diligently you study the Bible, the more beautiful will it appear and the less relish you will have for light reading. Bind this precious volume to your hearts. It will be to you a friend and guide. Messages to Young People, pages 271, 273, and 274.